Hello, my name is Dr. Kamran and today we're going to see how a proper venipuncture is done and how blood should be sent. Um, during this procedure uh, I'll be speaking along the way so that you may know what I'm doing. So I'm going to perform the uh, venipuncture now. So you go to the patient for that, you clean your hands, you prepare your clean, clean area, clean tray by taking some of the wipes, clean the tray properly, go in the crevices to make sure that it's properly cleaned, throw this away in the clinical waste bin. After that you prepare your clean tray, take an alcohol swab, you take a tape, take a bit of cotton, you take the blood sampling bottle, there are a lot of types of blood sampling bottles. The, uh, the basic ones that are used are the purple top, which is used for full blood count, uh, the blue top, which is usually used for INR, um, the yellow top, which is usually used for LFTs, urea and electrolytes, uh, LFTs and everything, um, and other bottles like grey, uh, pink for group and save also exists. So everyone has its own purpose, but today we're just going to do a set of UNEs on a patient. So that's the yellow bottle. The pin, sorry, the needle, the vacutainer, and the tourniquet. So that's a complete set of things that you need. You need a sharp spin uh, and a clinical waste bin to throw the rest of the stuff. So how the examination starts is that you go explain the procedure to the patient uh, and take the consent. A verbal consent is enough for this one. Uh, after that, uh, you obviously check the identity of the patient uh, and introduce yourself. After greeting the patient and explaining the procedure, you go ahead with performing it. So the first thing that you need to do is see if there's a good vein on his arm. There's one over here. And you put the tourniquet around the arm of the patient. Ask him to clench uh, his hands, uh, close his fist a couple of times for, to, for the uh, vein to get more prominent. You take the alcohol swab, palpate the vein, clean it with the swab. Take the needle, do not touch the part that you've already cleaned. Let the patient know of a sharp scratch before you go in. So sharp scratch, then you use the bottle, put it inside the vacutainer and the bloods come right there. Filling it up. This gets filled, you open the tourniquet, you take the cotton, put it on top, take the needle out, close the top, straight into the sharp spin, first thing. After that, you can take a t piece of tape to hold this temporarily on the patient. After this, you need to label your bottle, the surname, the forename, the date of birth. You need to put the address, whether he's male or female, which ward he's in, the time you've taken it, the date that you've taken it. You put the hospital number and sign the tube. Then you put this into a blood form, uh, put it with a blood form, put it in a packet and send it for the pathology uh, lab to review and the results come back. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much. 
Again, always remember to throw all of this stuff in a clinical waste bin and the sharps in the sharps bin. Thank you very much.